Welcome! The following video will show you how to add a wireless zone to a 2GIG Edge security system. You'll begin by tapping the Settings icon located in the lower right corner of the screen. Next, you're going to want to enter your installer code. The Settings menu will then display and you can scroll to the bottom of the screen and then tap Installer Toolbox. Next, you'll want to tap Panel Programming, and then tap Wireless Zones. The Wireless Zones programming menu will display on screen. You'll see a list of all zone numbers on the left side of the screen. Tap the zone number you would like to assign the wireless sensor to and then tap the Edit Zone button located in the lower right portion of the screen. You can then select the appropriate equipment code for this sensor. There are two ways you can add the equipment code. The first way to add the code is to tap the menu icon, and then select the appropriate code from the drop-down menu. Note, if you're adding an E-Series sensor, make sure you select the equipment code that has E-Series in the title. The second way you can add the equipment code is by using the on-screen keypad to type the four-digit code associated with the sensor's equipment code. To continue programming the rest of the settings for this sensor, you can either tap the next configuration from the left-hand list, or you can tap the down arrow button. Next, you'll want to add the appropriate sensor type. Either tap the menu icon, and then select the sensor type from the drop down menu, or use the on screen keypad to type the sensor type's two digit code. Note if you're not sure which sensor type to add, refer to the 2GIG Edge installation guide. As mentioned earlier, you can continue programming by either selecting the next programming configuration from the left-hand list or by tapping the down arrow button. Next, you'll want to input the TXID number for the sensor. Note, you can find the TXID number listed on the sensor's sticker. You can either add the TXID number manually using the panel's on-screen keypad, or you can learn the number in wirelessly. If you choose to add the TXID number wirelessly, tap the Learn button. Once you see the listening pop-up message, trigger your sensor. Once the panel finds the sensor, you'll see a confirmation message on screen. Note, the panel will register any sensor within range, so you'll need to make sure the TXID number shown on the success message matches the TXID number of the sensor you're adding. Once you verify the TXID number is correct, tap the Accept button. You'll now see the TXID number in the answer box. Note, if the sensor fails to learn, make sure you added the correct equipment code. If you're adding an E-Series sensor, you'll want to go back and make sure you added the equipment code that has E-Series in the title. Once you're done adding the TXID number, Continue to the next programming configuration. Now you can select the loop number. If you're not sure which loop number to select, see the list on screen or see the installation instructions included with the sensor or peripheral. Once you're done selecting the loop number, continue on to the next programming configuration. Next, you'll want to add a voice descriptor for this zone. Begin by tapping the Add Voice Descriptor button. Then use the on-screen keypad to type the first few letters of the desired word until you see the word appear in the upper list. Select the desired word from the list. Repeat these steps if you'd like to add any additional words. Note, you can find a full list of all potential voice descriptors within the installation guide. Once you're done adding all desired words, tap the Done button. To continue programming, Tap the down arrow button or select the next programming configuration from the left hand list. You can now select the desired chime for the sensor. Tap the desired option from the right hand list. 
Then continue on to the next programming configuration. Next, you'll want to let the panel know which smart area the sensor belongs to. Select the correct smart area from the right-hand list. Note, if you're not using the Smart Area feature, leave the default setting of Smart Area 1 selected. If you're unfamiliar with the Smart Area feature or need more information, refer to the Installation Guide. Continue on to the next programming configuration. You can now decide whether or not you want to enable the transmission delay feature for this sensor. Select the desired option and then continue on to the next programming configuration. Next, choose whether or not to send reports to the central monitoring station and back-end provider. If you'd like reports related to this sensor to be sent to the central station and back-end provider, keep the default setting of Enabled. Continue on to the next programming configuration. Lastly, you'll decide whether or not you want the panel to monitor supervisory signals of this sensor. Keep the default setting of Enabled to activate this feature. You're now done adding all configuration settings for this sensor. If you need to add more zones, tap the Next Zone button and repeat the steps we just went over. Once you're done adding all desired zones, you'll want to save your new programming by repeatedly tapping the Back button until you get to the Home screen. Congratulations! You've now successfully added the new wireless zone to the 2GIG Edge security system.